Here's, I'm here in my uh, photo studio right now in between two sessions so I thought I would go over uh, the clothing part and I brought all the clothing I found yesterday and today to uh, shoot in between the sessions on my mannequin so I'll go over my finds these are from Thrift Salvation Army yesterday and today uh, yesterday I found all these clothes I guess uh, I got a Tommy Bahama here size large not really Hawaiian, but hey, I liked it. It's Tommy Bahama, and it's 50% off. Got a polo by Ralph Lauren, uh, long sleeve, size large. Paid four fifty for it. Another, oh, I skipped one there. It's just a polo um, t-shirt, small, but small people need shirts too, so. Another polo uh, dress shirt. Only paid uh, two bucks for that one. Got this cool Harley Davidson T-shirt. It's actually for a local shop here in town, in San Diego. But I like the logo in front, so I think it will probably sell. And it was a extra large. Yeah, extra extra uh, two XL. So. Tarly Davidson tags. Back is a local shop here in National City, but uh, should still do fine. Got a Tommy Bahama pullover. It's missing its tag, but only paid two fifty for it. So I'll be happy if I can get ten. Got this House of Blues lounge shirt. Sunset strip embroidered there in the back. Got that at a garage sale for two dollars. Nice little logo there on the pocket, and it's a large. Got this shirt, and I was, this is one I really liked. So I love the print here. A little Vixen in the cocktail dress. I looked on eBay for this brand, and it was selling in the 30s. Until I got home, and my wife pointed out it has a hole. So I'll just uh, note that in the listing and hope I can... I only paid two bucks, so hopefully I can get something out of it. Another lounge style shirt, little flames on the collar. Has these cool buttons of a cocktail glass. So again, two dollars for that. Uh, Jamaica Jacks. I know it's not the best brand, but uh, I've sold a couple of them, so it's a Hawaiian print. And it was a uh, large Got a Tommy shirt. I like it just because uh, the athletics here. Paid four fifty for it. And then another uh, Harley Davidson shirt. It's a uh, XL Harley Davidson tags, and it's Harley Davidson of Kuwait. So might be pretty cool for somebody. So that's it for my shirts of the week. Um, we'll be fading right in into the next of uh, my finds from today's garage sales and some from yesterday's thrift shops. All right, here's part two. I'm going to try this again. Here we are. This is from uh, thrift shops and garage sales yesterday and today. And start off with my biggest find of the day, which is Tupac t-shirt, because I've always wanted a Tupac t-shirt. Got it for 50 cents. If I don't wear it, it'll go on out eBay for $15. And got this cool Coca-Cola Polar Bear mug. And then, ta-da, ta-da. Possibly my big find of the week. I don't know yet. It's a Dubai Starbucks coffee mug. Um, selling for like 30, 35 on eBay. But it's listed on Amazon for sixteen and ninety-eight merchant fulfilled. So I haven't decided how I'm gonna go about that one yet. And uh I'll we'll start off over here. I got this uh cool or at least curl cool to the nerd in me, nineteen ninety-four Macintosh operating system guide. A lot of low ballers at five dollars, but there's a couple up there for thirty and up, so I'm gonna try thirty. 
Got a few more books there in the $10 to $20 range on Amazon. Picked up these 13 videotapes for a uh, dollar. That's a dollar for all 13, not each. And they're going for six for 24 on Amazon. So that's good. Got me a couple of Slinky Juniors. I'm gonna play with those myself. That sounded bad, but there it is. Got uh, four new in-box games. Um, two bucks a piece. Somebody else beat me out to most of the new in-box at the garage sale, but this one alone was like $35, so that's good. Got me an Atari Flashback. It's a replica Atari game with all the video games inside of it. I used to love Centipede, so we're going to hook that up and test that out this weekend. And this is my Boo Boo find of the week. I found one like this uh, two weeks ago, a Christmas one. And inside the bag was sealed. I picked this one up yesterday and I looked, I swear, I looked inside and the bag looked sealed to me when I got home. It was open. And then I got, uh, I think, one of these books. This little uh, doohickey steer thingy. And two um, leap pad games for two bucks for all four items and those go for about 15 bucks a piece and then I got a Star Wars Guess Who game for a buck and it goes for 15 bucks and then this is for you Catherine um, got these three items at that uh, Boy Scout rummage sale and that's all there was there I swear a little coffee press a Bob the Builder videotape and a sealed uh, puzzle and I forgot to give a shout out to Golden Finger Picker. This is a vintage Macintosh manual. Vintage. So I also got three more shirts here I didn't show you. A Red Sox shirt. A uh, polo, polo shirt. And this cool shirt is by Xavier. It's really nice material and they're going for like 30 bucks plus on eBay. Picked it up for a couple bucks at Salvation Army. And that's my other cat, Mango, who, who's pissed at me that we brought a kitten into the house. See, he won't even look at me. Mango. There he goes. Yeah, up yours. All right. So that's it for my find for today. In under five minutes, beat that golden picker. Golden finger picker. So, uh... Yep, that's it. I'll hopefully come back to you tomorrow with another haul video from my swap meet in the morning. And until then, I'll see ya.